Uh, okay, except for this blue thingy, but then I can go and get the Herald of Fun on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Hmm, I wouldn't be able to upgrade the Herald of Thunder. Uh, that's bad. Alright. I should try that though. Still breathing, eh? Alright, no. Uh, damage on that one is 589. It's the... yeah, there's no spot strike anyway, so... Sorry. And it's... 781. Yep, definitely better. We're going for that. 589, yep. Gonna do that. So, uh... Huh. The one is the icy glyph, this one is the cold change. Then we have this one. Leap slam. Where do I put my leap slam on? This is the ice crush. This is a molten. I don't use the molten strike now. Uh, I could just change that. Put the molten strike up there. And this one will be molten strike again. 786. Okay, wait a second. Uh, 291. Wait. Okay. Changes a little bit. So. What I could do, though, is uh, keep one of these weapons. The one that does the most damage. Damn it. Which one is that? Uh, 50, 30, 20, 60, 22 makes 80. Uh... That one has two of them, 50-50, almost 100. So we keep this one. This one will be sold. Okay, now what about the support gems? This one will only be one skill. And that's it. I could put the Thunder Herald on it. Then I could make the leaf slam a little better. Just a little bit. What is this one? Physical to lightning. Do I have another physical to lightning? No. Okay, and search support. Hey, I do have another physical to lightning. Ah, <sighs> comes in very handy. Good. Um, what if I put that up there? Seven ninety something. Uh, let's just keep it open, maybe. Oh, no. Uh, I've got something. That one. Nope. Wrong page. Still breathing, eh? You have claimed the most worthy of prey, Makoru. Piety, the mistress of corruption. I'm not saying that the war is over, but you've given Rayclass a much-needed respite. Because of you, this land lives to see another door. And don't forget that you've done Grigor and Clarissa a justice of some magnitude. They will wish to speak to you. Hmm. Talakura, All right. go with courage. So that one goes up there too. What's up? Argon done. Tala. She doesn't have any other sentences. Questions, answers. Wherever he is, I'm sure Tolman knows what you've done. I know you didn't do it for him or for me. It doesn't matter. Piety's reign of cruelty is over. Thank you. Hmm, you're welcome. Bye. You're welcome. <laughs> Piety <laughs> dies amongst her abominations, her warped dream taunting her, maddeningly out of reach. As a poet, I'm fond of that creative justice. Here, the executioner needs recompense. Ooh, yeah. Let me take that. 
Unfortunately, piety was simply a puppet of a greater force. You've cut the strings, but the master remains. Dominus. That key you've picked up, I heard the blackguards talk of it. It's the one key to the scepter of God on the northern edge of the blackguard encampment. Only piety was permitted to carry it. Dominus accessed his laboratory at the summit of the tower via a pulley system rigged to the outside wall. That way will be barred to you. And I heard of no one, not even piety, going in or coming out of the lower levels. Go with care, exile. I can't imagine what's inside that tower if even piety and Dominus feared to tread its steps. Okay, and what about the beast? When piety was experimenting on me, my consciousness was mercifully fleeting. In those moments of numbing darkness, I met a presence. Intelligence, power, immensity beyond the limits of my pitiable mortal senses. To this creature, I was but a raindrop falling into the sea. I heard Piety speak to her lackeys of the beast. It is the source of her thaumaturgy and the object of her ambitions. I believe Piety's beast and that dark entity are one and the same. Wherever it is, whatever it is, the beast is the cause of my malformation. It would not be a stretch of reason to consider the beast the source of all malformation in Rayclast. Hmm. All right. Now you must leave. And we just need to find out what the beast is, what it does, and where to find it. A fantastic beast. Where to find? So. Uh. Right. Good. Let's quickly. Go back and hope I can. Uh, yeah, still explore that area. Oh, perfect. Night wall. Awful lot of damage. The two hander is amazing. Get there. So, alright. There was like this area over here, but there was like, yeah, mostly basic. Then we have that part down there. Still has to get explored. Then you can go back with the portal and get the fruit that Fairgraves needs. What about the attack speed? 0.75. That's it. Alright. So much of that part. The other area might just be a dead end now. Is oh, okay. At least I got a scroll of wisdom. Ah, oh, come on. Move. Now I do have three additional points. I mean, I may be able to find some nice bonuses in one of these trees. Still no charges. How many are there? I have. Uh, it's not said how many charges I have. Currently has 15 charges and 15. Okay. Not enough for use. 20. Not 15. Okay, now I have 20. And these were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 enemies. Yeah. Okay. So we get one charge for every killed enemy. 
accurate. The more enemies, the more charges. What's in there? Thing is, why is there no background music? Now? <laughs> it's just really strange. We killed the boss. Okay, it's done. Like no background music for you anymore. To damnation with you. Ah, oh, the freezing effect is awesome. Of course we have. So, Becky has the most annoying size ever. Oh. The idea was to not go around too much. Okay. Just another trap. No items. Perfect. And there we go. You get him, boy. And sell, 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 sell. And there's my two. Speed. Huh. Now they have at least 70 damage. That's good. Don't do anything I would. Alright. Also a nice way to get your potion to be healed. Just go back to the spawn. What I back to the town. You just have to sit through one loading screen, that's it. And yeah, everything here has been explored. Good. Now then, I'm going to the Imperial Garden. Oh, but before we go anywhere, let's just see. I need more elemental damage. Ah. Uh, having higher maximum amounts of mana is not suitable for us because we spend percentages of mana and not a certain amount. That's not going to work. Then we have. You hit with elemental damages, temporarily get plus 25% resistance to those elements and minus 50% resistance to other elements. Uh. Okay, one and two and three. These are the ones I need. Oh, more life regeneration. Isn't that great? B, that was the key. Full space ball. <clears throat> what do you know? A thousand, yeah! Uh oh. I need more tank oriented items. <laughs> I'm dying. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. I am no beast of burden. Yeah, for a few seconds. If this one hasn't been sorted nicely, I have to say. So oh, that one looks cool. Alright, uh, I'm going to go here. Sweet, 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 sweet. Stuff can be put over here, and we still have room for at least two, four sizes. Yeah, come on, let me go through. Ooh. 
Right. What is this? Hmm. To find the hope thingy. Ah, uh, the hedge maze. One of the two. Let's see. Please, please be a waypoint. Right in. Right at the start. Wait. So the hatch maze is part of the uh huh, good, part of the Imperial Gardens. It's not a separate map. Good to know. What if I trigger fire damage with the totem at the start? I could also use the elemental equilibrium thingy. So you have to switch your elemental damage all the time. That might work. Very good. I like the class cannon build, but come on! <laughs> uh, does it really have to be so difficult? <laughs> uh, You're right. So then, uh, let's get rid of these blues here. All of them. Sweet. What was the game called where you had this? donkey that went back and forth between the base and you all the time that was cool that was a solution for a problem that yeah this kind of inventory you have you did not need to go back you can just get all the items you can so the library perfect now, does it have a porter this time? Yeah, but maybe not up here. Right? Standing there and smashing the grind, that's enough. <laughs> uh. Oh, scrolls of wisdom. Yes. Was I frozen for a moment? Like I tried to attack, it didn't work. That's weird. You could do this. Oh shit! Too far away. Need higher range on this one. Volume 4. A friend in need. It's one of those summer days in San. When the sweat dries on your skin. Sweet. <laughs> when the sweat dries on your skin, the moment it dares slither from your pores. So, Lorenzi and I are sipping coffee. Coffees. 
ice with cubes from the north, wears a tremor in his voice as he announces that he is going to see Malachi tonight. To have a gem implanted in his hand, the palm of his hand uh, to be exact, once I have run out of exp... Ah, come on! Ex expletives? What are expletives? Ugh, crap. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's difficult to read. Okay, let's try it again. The thing is, you can't even... You are restricted to the flow of the text. Ah, The stuff that's not voiced yet. Please make it just a letter that's been shown in the center of the screen. So, uh, there we go. Uh, once I have run out of expletives and paused for breath while the waiter wipes spiraled. While the waiter wipes spilled coffee from our table, I managed to ask him why, so that I might have the fastest fingers in the empire. In his uh, reply, Lorenzi, first violinist of the Sun Symphonic, and my dear friend is going to become a gemling. Ten days pass and Lorenzi's hand is healed. He plays for me a piece that he has written during his convales convalescence, something he will his evening in God's theater. The gem casts a bloody hue over his violin as his fingers flow across the strings. They are an um, feral blur as the quickly in the eyes mind to follow and the music. There's only one experience in my life that compares to the night with Malin before she died. It has been a month now and once again Lorenzi and I sip iced coffee together in the Paranus market. Though we sit only a narra damn it, narrow table apart, Lorenzi is a world apart. World away, the nightmares began a couple of weeks back. He toys absolutely with the. <laughs> That's not enough room. Uh, I have to play this again. Continue. The thing is, you can't even. <gasps> oh, mouse wheel, thank you. Oh. You can't click on it, but you can use the mouse wheel. Oh. Okay, Gus Violinist. Uh, fingers fly across the strings, uh, uh, are in inferal blur, too quick for an eye or mind to follow. And the music, there's only an experience in my life that compares the night I had with Marilyn before she died. Whew. It has been a month now, and once again, Lorenzo and I sit iced coffee together in the Parendus market. Though we sit only a narrow table apart, Lorenzo is a world away. The nightmares began a couple of weeks back. He toys abs absently with the vial that I have bought for him from the apothecary. Yet I know he uh, won't drink from it. The soothing of his wits will mean the slowing of his fingers. The music is Lorenzi's life and to Lorenzi the music and the gem are one and the same. A year has gone and the day is once again hot, enough to dry the sweat on my skin the moment it dares slither from the, my pores. I sip an iced coffee and think of Lorenzi. He plays last night. Uh, he played last night in God's Theatre, fleet, furious and wondrous he was. We passed in the foyer and looked into his grey face, his pale blue eyes. I don't know what he saw, but it wasn't me. I don't know what I saw either, but it wasn't Lorenzi. Victorio of San. <gasps> At least you can like use the scroll wheel for that. It's kind of strange. Like, almost okay. Almost everything in here is voiced except this part. The library, of course. Beast of burden. Again? It's a six. It doesn't fit, no. Alright, let's go back. I think I won't get back to the to the plum field, plum tree. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to sell it first. So, ah. Uh, where are the yellows? This one. Okay, um. 44 one handed maze. Boy, do I have a two handed one? That one wouldn't even. Wouldn't even do the trick, just. Um, stun. Nice to have, but still don't need it. Go 
and lots of floss goes up there, and this one goes up here. I need to find another way to sort the gems. So they don't like interfere that much with each other. Alright. Did I? No. Can't go there. The Ancients. Book 1. Last of the Vile Queens. It has been written of Queen Atsiri that her throne room was lined with the mirrors and that she held court naked, demanding the same of those wishing her audience. The theory was that a naked man had nothing to hide, but one might easily venture that Atsiri utilized her striking phys physical presence to influence courtly engagements in her favor. A woman like Atsiri beautiful and naked would be very difficult to refuse. The few statuettes, statuettes and uh, reliefs that remain depict her as a rare beauty, a young woman with, ex damn it, with exquisitely delicate uh, features, large mesmerizing eyes and a full figure of intoxicating sensuality. Whether the depictions are realist or interpreted in realist or interpretive is unfortunately impossible to corroborate okay corroborate but who was the woman behind the title a few surviving accounts on his matter contain two schools of thought on the matter some speak of a theory with adoration tutoring no touting her as a visionary, the woman who would lead the Val into a brighter future. Others are less kind, suggesting that Siri love for herself overshadowed any love for her people. If her cord of mirrors truly existed, however, then the latter seems more likely. Vanity, after all, is the most insidious of all sins. Only one thing can be said of certain. Uh, of a series, she was the last queen of the Val, the trail of history, and during her reign, some 400 years preceding the imperialist uh, conceptors. Trinian Intellectus Prime. <laughs> uh, that's a nice title. Intellectus Prime. Autobots, roll out. Ah. Please, do not be alarmed. I am neither monster nor murderer, though that is the duality of existence that defines San these days. My name is Yosafuanga, and I have the bleak honor of being the sole scholar to the imperious intellection, this grand repository of knowledge you see about you. May reason preserve us. All right. In more mundane circumstances, it would be preposterous to ask this of you, an utter stranger. But given that I don't know in which century I might see another pair of flesh and bone hands, I... there's a door, you see, concealed behind the shelves. It leads into the archives. That's where Isius Perandus concealed his golden pages. Can you see how maddening that would be for me? No, of course you can't. Ridiculous of me to... Suffice to say that they are beyond my reach. Four varlish texts they are of priceless historical insight. Please, find my friend's golden pages and bring them to me. You will be rewarded. I vow it before the ancestors. Alright. Anything else? Oh, tell me more about, about these archives. It is the Karui way to observe nature in nature. The fish without the sea is no longer a fish. It is dinner. The Eternals did not see it that way. An Eternal catches the fish guts the fish, preserves the fish, and places it in a box. Only then does the Eternal feel 
He truly understands the fish. Interesting. What about this painting you're linked to? It was a Karwi Mutsiata that discarded my failing body of flesh in favor of canvas and oil. An ancient song and a momentary lapse in judgment that I've had more than enough time to regret. Hmm. Remember? Goody. Life yeah, nice. At least the waypoint is very close, sir. Hmm. I have to say, like, the the books in here, they are s very complicated. They are not easy, but they are, like, they use words you don't usually <laughs> speak uh, or even write or read in the normal kind of way. That's right. Higher English, I would say. Uh, very complex. Ooh, nice. Another gem of chromatization. Chromatization. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Explosion is so nice. You start and then suddenly boom. Right like that. Because they always attack like in the line. Most of the time. Two, three, and almost got them. Come on. Sweet. Oh, the, oh chaos shards and alchemy shard, portal shard. Huh. And the, okay, the portal scroll was because of one of these enemies. And he said he needed four golden pages. Oh god, arrow was frozen right now. I just realized. Bat. Yeah, he needs four golden pages. And where are they? The Purity of... Uh, the Purity Chronicles. Book number four. The Red Sekima's Saddle. In return for her military support in the rebellion, Fall promised Ski... No. Sekim... Sekima with an M, not an N. Sekima dish read the return of the Marakev, grazing lands stolen during the imperial conquest of the Vastiri Plains. The red Sekima agreed on one condition, that she might have Hector Titicus, Titucius skin with which to fashion a Roa saddle. To this end, Vol and Deshred engineered a trap for General Titucius and his Vastiri legion, the Maraketh, uh, had long been able to predict the comings and goings of the vast and vicious dust storms that constantly plague the plains. Deshred located one such fledgling maelstrom, mael, yeah, maelstrom within a day march of Titukia's camp. For this, damn it, for his part, Vol identified a number of Imperial spies amongst the Marakath and fed them false information regarding a potential tribal uprising. Taking the bait, Titukius had his Gemling Legion surround the supply yeah, the supplied location, thus placing himself squarely in the past of Deshred's dust storm. One uh on the third Galvano of Vitali thirteen thirty-three, I see the I see <laughs> the tempest descended upon Titucius Legion with blinding, defeating ferocity. The shreds Akara, born and raised in dust and wind, swept through the legion, harvesting Yeah, harvesting it like a field of ripe corn. Once storm and Marakev fury had abated the abated 
Abedin, 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 like the water flow in Abedin. Uh, Abedin, the vast religion existed only as a multitude of dust cloaked mines. The Red Sikima claimed a prize, and it is said that there is no more comfortable settle in all of Vastiri than Dash Reds. Garivaldi Chronicle to the Empire. Chronicler. There's a chronicler. <laughs> The Chronicle. I Chronicler, you Chronicler, everybody Chronicles. Oh! There was a way, I just. Oh, no, 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 this way, yeah. Thought I forgot about that. Oh, no, 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 no. Being frozen is so annoying. I am no beast of burden. Of course you are never. Okay. Um. No, 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 no. There's at least one of these. Fit in there. Yeah. I'd say so. All right. Let's go with the festival mask. That's it. <gasps> what is this? Giant flask? No. Granite flask plus three thousand armor. No, that one is interesting. I could just, uh, yeah, I could just exchange this with mana. I don't really have the problem with mana here. But I do have a problem with time. Still breathing, eh? Well, let's call it different. Um, dying too quickly. Or like, losing health too quickly, not dying in general. So, and. Oh. Uh, is that one good? Yes, no, it would be 399. 399. Uh, decent. Nah, come on. Let's just. Does it do anything else? Nope. Bring me back something nice, huh? Uh, wait, this is a 30, 20 something. This one goes over there. Goes over there. And the Colossal Flask goes over there. Alright. Got it. I do have another level up though. Uh, wasn't it so that there was at least get yeah, one more thing to do? Ash, Frost, and Storm. 16% increased elemental damage and 10% reduced a reflected elemental damage taken. 872. Still 872. Now I do apply it. Now it's 900. Wow. 920. With all the buffs active, it should be. Yes. Extremely high. Perfect. Alright, let's move on. There uh, is probably. Another bug in here. Ah. There's the hideout. Oh, I, oh by the way. He gets in the item down here. Yeah, super! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I'm doing really, really fast. Pew. Okay, I should use like that one a little more often. 236. Totem is awesome. Huh. Find the three remaining golden pages. I want to know what's written on these pages. I don't just want to collect them. Ah. And another one has been obtained. Next one. <laughs> Und wie geht's einem selbst? <laughs> Page number three, fine. That's just the last one. Oh, hey, look. Actually, the 
easy to do. Huh. All right. Yeah, I can just do this and use the marker. What's going on? So, uh, royal stuff. That's one can get two. Same for this one. This one. And these are the pages. Oh, they take up so much space in the inventory. Don't do anything I would. Marker, teleporter, same thing. <laughs> I just noticed. Ah, uh, colossal flask number. Let's upgrade them. Welcome. Not you. This one. This goes on. I can just. Yeah. The moment I reach level 36, I can just exchange them. Uh, level right now is 35. Wait, no, 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 no. We're going for that. We're going for the library. Uh, so then it's the page. Oh, is it now? What's going on? And the room is it? Da da da. But no, Ari. What's Ari? Is it easy? Cuts the end of the room. You're gonna. What? Oh, come on. It's been up on media. Yeah, <laughs> verständlich. Uh, By the ancestors. It's good to see fresh words in front of me. Now, my translation skills are not. What Isius were, I can achieve a meager paraphrase at best. But a little knowledge is better than none, is it not? Let us begin. This tapestry of truth is a threadbare cloth indeed. But at least you have allowed me to begin the first few stitches in its restoration and to settle the memory of a dear friend. In return, allow me to give you this. A little practical wisdom to improve your lot. Ooh, nice support thingies. Uh, okay, what do we got? Lightning penetration stuff. Penetration, penetrate, wait, lightning penetration, cold penetration, fire penetration. Penetration is always nice. Uh, uh huh. Uh, fortify support. Uh, skills grant fortify on melee hit. What does it do? Supports melee attack skills that are not triggered. Oh, that's a bit iffy, but all right. Uh, they do increase melee damage. Supported skills deal 36% more burning damage. And 4% increased area of effect of curse skill. God, what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going for more burning damage. That sounds great. Now, page one in translation. My word. Valish contextualized syntax is a slippery eel indeed. Let me see if I can grab it by the gill. 